What's up, everybody? If you want to see some borderline arousing dogs and some paradigm shifting cats, you've come to the right place. So I was boosting around downtown Tokyo trying to broaden my gachapon horizons. Here's a nice place to start. We got us some kitty cat trap doors. You can set this kitty cat coming out of your smartphone and it also doubles as a smartphone stand. In other words, nice fucking trap door right there. What else we got here? We got some celebratory animals popping off. These animals are shouting out all kinds of onomatopoeias. I love them to bits and to be honest, I want to kiss them on the motherfucking tits. Seems like a pretty reasonable sentiment to have, don't you think? And wow, just wow. Look at these kawaii cats wearing hats. This is fucking incredible. Now I ain't much of a philosophical man, but something about seeing all these buck wild gachapon makes me want to self-actualize. Makes me want to become the best man I can possibly be. I mean, it's kind of hard not to draw inspiration from these whole house hamsters. Check them out, baby. Got some kawaii hamster booty right there. Next up, we got some rice ball chicks. They're looking fresh to death, and they're so fucking incredible that I'm literally at a loss for words here, people. Now check out this dog situation over here. Nice. We got us some nice dogs right here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on over here. Are these dog food cans? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, why have dog food when you can have food dogs? Now this is more what I'm talking about. We've got Inupon Series 10 right here. You best believe I'm gonna stock up on some of these puppies. I mean, let's be honest here, people. To not buy them would be downright criminal. I mean, as Lao Tzu said, life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them. That only creates sorrow. Let reality be reality. Let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. That's a nice fucking quote right there. Now you can interpret that any way you want, but the way I interpret it is that I should buy me a shitload of gachapon right now. So I stocked up on a huge amount of these gachapon, then I started perusing around some of the other capsule stations. Let's see what else we got here. We got a variety of food pets popping off. I mean, look at these pets. We've got an omelet dog, a curry cat. Wow. What's this? It kind of looks like a strawberry shortcake rabbit and check out those burbs and whoa. That's a pretty nice Kokomoko hamster right there. Now check this out. We got Neko Cafe 6 popping off. Here's another high caliber collection worthy of buying in massive quantities. I mean, there ain't nothing more satisfying than having a shitload of food dogs complemented by a buck wild batch of dessert cats. I mean, I've come too far to turn back now. I stocked up on some yin, now I need me some yang. So after I bought me some cats, I boosted on home and got ready to check out some gachapon. So back at my apartment, I lit a candle, set the mood, and suffice to say, shit's about to get crazy in this mother. Now usually I show myself opening the capsules, but today I got so many damn gachapon, it would take too much of your precious time. So today we're skipping the foreplay and going straight to the climax, and wow, just fucking wow. I can't even believe what I'm looking at here. It's a fucking dog in a curry croquet. I mean, somehow the whole thing has been deep fried to a crisp, yet the dog remains unscathed. It's almost as though, through some divine force that defies understanding, this dog has transcended the mortal world. Try to break it down to fundamental components. Try to analyze it, baby. Because try as you might, there just ain't no way of quantifying this level of kawaii. This dog holds the power to broaden horizons and literally change the course of history. Key takeaway is, that's a nice fucking doggy right there. Next up, it's time to unveil a cat. We got us a melee crepe cake cat. Look at that kawaii cat's eyes. It looks shell-shocked out of its mind. It's got the thousand-yard stare, almost as though it's seen the origin of creation itself. 
This kawaii kitty cat has stared into the abyss, and the abyss has stared back into this kitty. It's beheld more than you or I could ever hope to fathom. In other words, that's a pretty nice cat right there. A decent cat. Next up, what do we got here? A little thing I like to call Daug's Benedict. Now, people always say you gotta start the day off on the right foot by eating a big, well-balanced breakfast. Well, what could be more balanced than an English muffin, a slice of lettuce, an egg, some hollandaise sauce, and a fucking Daug? You better market that shit in supplement form because that's the most well-balanced diet ever conceived by mankind. It's also the most kawaii meal ever conceived by mankind. It's just that fucking good. What else we got here? We got a s'mores kitty cat. I mean, who needs a marshmallow in their s'mores when they can have a snow white kitty cat jammed between two graham crackers and some melted chocolate? Word around the campfire is that's a nice fucking cat. Dare I say, a decent cat. This cat has both a modern chic and a timeless charm. You're beholding a beauty of the ages. Even the ancients got to admit, neither Helen of Troy nor Cleopatra herself got anything on this cat. In other words, that's one potent motherfucking pussy cat right there. Next up, we got a fine snack from the Far East. We got a Doberman Pinscher jammed inside a Chinese Mondu. Now take a look at that dog. See how he's staring off into the distance, never looking behind, always looking ahead. This is a forward-looking dog that's trying to make the world a better place. He's a mammal on a mission. He's a visionary of epic proportions. Now this may just be a piece of plastic, but truth be told, I can't help but feel inspired right about now. Next on deck, we got us a strawberry eclair cat. I gotta say, this fine feline is looking so sweet, I'm actually getting insulin resistance just looking at it. The mere sight of this cat is making me feel pre-diabetic as fuck. It's spiking my blood sugar like a wild feline possessed, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's a pretty nice cat right there. Next up, we got us a black bean bread dog of the Shiba Inu variety. Now, I don't exactly know what black bean bread is. I guess it must be some kind of eastern thing. Nevertheless, decent dog, if you ask me. Now, this dog seems to be a tad timid and unsure of himself. I think it needs someone to hug him and tell him that all will be right in the world. Although I only just met him, I get the feeling that he's in dire need of unconditional love, so I think we all best be getting agape as fuck around here. Now, if I had to summarize everything I just said into one small, succinct bullet point, I'd have to say this. Nice fucking dog right there. Next on deck, we got us a custard pudding kitty cat. Now, wait a second. I'm not exactly the world's foremost cat expert or anything, but that looks like a Scottish fold to me. Now, this cat looks surprisingly stoic and statuesque. It's a calm, calculating cat that drives a hard bargain and don't take no for an answer. Nevertheless, that's a pretty kawaii cat right there. Almost brings a tear to my eye. Next up, we got not one but two focaccia sandwich dogs. Here's the first one, and I'm going to attempt to explain this dog in the simplest terms possible. What we got here is a piece of focaccia bread sliced down the middle and jammed with a piece of lettuce and a buck wild chihuahua. It's toasted to perfection, and personally, I think it's pretty nice. I mean, man, oh man, that thing is looking fresh to death and zesty beyond belief. It's looking so incredible that I'm not sure if I should give that dog a belly rub or if I should eat him. That's a classic conundrum right there. Now, technically, there's two versions of this dog, but they look so similar to me that it might as well be one version as far as I'm concerned. The version on the left is supposed to be the white version, and the version on the right is supposed to be the beige version. I don't know, call me crazy, but I think they're looking real similar, so maybe the food dog company is trying to pull a fast one on us. Nevertheless, decent dogs. Now last but certainly not least, we've got us a mason jar kitty cat right here. Man oh man, look at that cat. That's some delish looking nomi mono if you ask me. 
That cat's shooting his paws out forward like he wants a hug, and I think he deserves one. Now I gotta admit, imagining drinking a Neko Cafe cat on a hot summer's day is a pretty appealing idea. I mean, if that ain't the ultimate thirst quencher, then I sure as hell don't know what is. Now I did get all the food dogs, but I didn't quite get all the dessert cats. I was missing just one. I missed out on a little thing called a Siamese cat in a mason jar. But hey, I got no reason to pout. After all, you can clearly see I've got a shitload of life-changing dogs and cats over here. Now after watching all these dogs and cats, I'm pretty interested to know what's your favorite one? You best be letting me know in the comments section. After all, you deserve to voice your opinion, sweet cheeks. Oh, and by the way, if you like Buck Wild Gotcha Pound, then feel fucking free to check out some of my other videos. I've got a video on kawaii hat wearing cats, and I've got a video on unmotivated animals, just to name a few. I've got those links in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.